Hi, my name is Dr. Peter Kay, and this is the next lecture in the Fluid Dynamics module. And this lecture is called Flow with Friction. So what we're going to talk about um, in today's lecture, so as I say, we're going to talk about fluid flow. Up till now, we've kind of we've assumed that all the flow is frictionless, but now we're going to start to include those um, friction effects. But before we do that, we're going to talk about the nature of flows, um, difference between laminar and turbulent and the transitions in between. We're also going to talk about um, shear stress and fluid um, viscosity, which is, uh, as you see, is quite important. And in terms of laminar flow, which we're going to um, concentrate on to, uh, in this lecture, so turbulent flow will be the subject of a, a different lecture. We're going to show how you can calculate the flow uh, velocity, how that varies across a pipe, and how you can calculate the flow rate and pressure drop due to these frictional effects and the power that's needed to overcome it. Okay, so firstly, I just want to introduce some um, terminology, and these are ways that you can visualize um, uh, different the, the flow, different types of flow. And the first is a path line, and the path line is the path that a fluid particle takes as it moves through a flow field. So this is illustrated on the right hand side by a bonfire, and um, this has been um, this is a long exposure. Um, camera with a long exposure so you can see the street line of each of these particles as they're coming out of the fire and they're going upwards um, you know with the, the flow due to the heat of the fire and so you can see the individual path lines so you can see this one here this is you know um, the path line so it started here and then it went all the way up to the top now um, this um, image here so in here each of these um, Obviously, sparks are creating these um, path lines. Now, this probably isn't actually truly representative of the flow because these um, uh, sparks and things here would have um, some momentum. And what you're trying to do when you really do look at flow um, visualization is, particularly in um, liquid flow, you want um, tiny neutrally buoyant beads so that they their buoyancy effects don't in, um, take them off course. And also they're they're very small, so their momentum is very low, so that they react um, quickly and easily to um, changes in flow conditions. And that's what you want to be able to visualize flow. But the the overriding thing I want to take away is that a path line is is a path that a particular fluid particle takes as it moves through the fluid field. So in contrast, a streak line is formed by many particles they've passed through a common point okay and they're, they're commonly visualized with either um, dye or smoke and there's an example here on the right hand side so this is um, uh, commonly used in um, motor racing and what you can see on the side of this racing car is flow visualization paint so in the um, in the garage paint would have been painted along the leading edge of um, the bodywork of this car here. Um, the car goes out on track and then as the flow, um, the air in this instance, flows over the car, what it does is, it, is each, you know, the air passes over the point. It basically um, draws the flow visualization point along where the um, the kind of collective air motion is going. So it wasn't painted like this, it all started off from the leading edge. So you can see where it's ended up, and then what this will reveal is um, the, the 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 streak lines of um, the air flowing over the point uh, over the car. Now it should be noticed that for steady flow, um, the path line and the streak line will be the same, but where you have some turbulence, some um, unsteady flow, then those path lines will overlap and give you a streak line, which is you know, slightly blurred at the edges. So you can see here that the air is not taking exactly the same path as it goes over this um, part of the bodywork, but more there's kind of a band of it there. Streamlines are slightly different again. So a streamline illustrates the flow direction at a specific instant in time. And also um, tangential to the streamlines is um, the direction of the velocity at a given point. And this is illustrated nicely um, in this image on the right hand side. So the red lines here are the streamlines, okay? 
and you can see that um, in any given point the blue um, vector shows the direction of the flow so and which is tangential as I say to the to the streamline so it's a very good indication of where you know the flow um, you know around a particular body is going and you can see the image at the bottom here um, so this is a numerical uh, computational fluid dynamics um, evaluation of the flow around um, this uh, snowboarder and you can obviously see that the the flow coming off his helmet and you know his knees and everything is quite um, uh, chaotic um, you know we talk about well, turbulence and we talk about that more later in the lecture but this is just a snapshot in time so you can see where the flow is at any particular time and obviously this would be quite unsteady so it would be um, changing with time but that's what the advantage of a streamline is